Alicia Barber. Um, you got to the semi-final here of the World Championship. First of all, tell us about the experience. Um, well, I ran into the semi-finals before in the 09 World Championships. So I've been on um, a high-level meet, you know, and um, so this is like my third one. I ran the 08 Olympics and then 09 World Champs and then this meet. What was it like this time around though for you? Um, I'm a little bit older now and I have a good training group. Um, so the only difference is I have a little bit of experience of running on a high level. And I do it every day in practice because I train with Brian Rollins and Queen Harris and Christy Castlin. So I train at a high level every single day at practice. Tell us about this particular event in, in, in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, it's pressure. <laughs> you know, it's a lot, a lot of pressure uh, placed on me because we don't have the depth like everybody else. Everyone has a lot of, you know, at least three, four athletes in an event. And it's me and another girl, young girl coming up as well. And um, it's putting the pressure so I can set the, the path for them to follow. So, How, how, how do you handle the pressure? Um, just like how I handle everything else in life. I just use it as motivation to keep going. The season is almost, um, we're actually coming to an end now. What's next for you for the remainder of the season and what are you looking forward to achieve for next year, which is really a, a low key year with only the Commonwealth Games? Um, well, my season is done. This was my last meet. Um, my focus is for indoor worlds. You know, I have to set up my, my indoor better so I, my outdoor season can be better. Um, Cause I didn't run in a lot of meets this year. So my rhythm kind of fell off. So I really want to focus on indoor world championships and just building and setting up my season for outdoor and commonwealth games because even though it's a low-key meet it's still another opportunity to improve on your personal best and just set the stones up for the you know the young ladies in trinidad and tobago you said uh, you mentioned trinidad and tobago of course um jehu garden gold medal in his event 400 meter hurdles your thoughts on his performance he did a wonderful job um he motivated me yesterday to run through that line um he He's young and I love, love his energy. You know, he's so focused and so driven at such a young age and you don't see that too often and I'm so, so happy for him. How competitive is this 100 meter hurdles? It's seen as the most competitive event on the track and field circuit these days. Yes, I, th I think it is. Um, there's a lot of older and younger and um, it's always a fast race. You know, it's never off here where it's slow and actually it seems every year when there's a world championships, everyone runs really, really fast in the 100 hurdles. So in this finals tonight, is going to be a really, really fast race, I believe. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye.